Hello, and welcome to Ponery's Penny Arcade, and this is Clan Folk. And yes, it is a demo, and it is an early access. And some of the things you're going to notice about this game right off the bat is that this really looks a lot like RimWorld, except this is for the Scottish clan folk. So, me being sort of Scottish and Irish and Korean, uh, I thought I would delve into this because I am genetically obligated to. Anyway, all bad impressions aside, I've played this game now for about two hours, trying to get a good feel for it, and it's hard to be good at it. But what I thought I would do is I would give you an impression, a first 30. There probably won't be a last 30 for this. This is just a first 30 to get you get your feet wet. And if you like what you see, uh, you can pick it up at Steam. I will leave a link in the description below. And I would encourage you to try it because this is actually quite a good game. And the developer is actually very um, receptive to suggestions and communication. So. If you see anything that may be buggy to you or that you don't like, uh, you can work in the discussion forums, and he does read it, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going to start with a new game. The demo lets you play, as it says, 10 days of a new campaign. And we're just going to build a you know random generic world seed here. Hopefully I got the volume pretty tame for you. So... There's a lot of tutorials. I would suggest you actually do them for your first time uh, playing this. But as you become more proficient, then obviously you won't need to, so you can just skip it like I do. Like the survival tutorial, the jobs tutorial, the objects, all this stuff. It walks you through the basics of building. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pause, just like in RimWorld. And you know, you've got these little, like, Nintendo me type characters, right? So what you'll notice is, is in this game here, it's going to tell you your needs right away. And the first thing we're gonna need is a place to wash our hands. That makes sense. So we're just gonna like pick a spot or two here. And it says we need a place, you know, to grab a drink. So you don't wanna do it near where you wash your hands, obviously, right? But I mean, the game doesn't seem to make a fuss just yet so this should suffice for now you usually start off with seven people six and a baby or something so that's what we've got here I haven't really mastered the whole uh, livestock part of this yet but then again I haven't really fleshed it out so one of the ways that this game sets itself aside from RimWorld is in RimWorld you have constant NPCs monitoring or poking at your defenses or trying to get to you whereas in this game it's your clan versus nature in survival so it's sort of like rim world meets i don't know the long dark in a way where you're just trying to survive the elements but obviously these are your animals it's just i haven't really figured out what to do with them yet and obviously we need beds but because we don't have any shelters how are you gonna have beds? So you usually sleep on the floor for the first couple of days. Anyway, these little clues on the side will tell you what you need to focus on right away. And what I can tell you now is having this much water nearby is great. Having stone nearby is great. Uh, having berry bushes nearby is pretty good because you're gonna be dependent on that for a little while. Um, looks like we're at the top of the map. Yeah, we're already up to the top of the map, so. Ideally, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to build a gravel foundation of sorts to have a place where we can start fires. We want to be able to cook, smelt, things like that. Basic, you know, medieval type things. So it says we need branches, and it, it tells you, hey, they likely grow on trees. So you would click this, and it would tell you, okay, here's your gather branches. So you would just start highlighting trees in the immediate vicinity to start collecting branches. And I usually tend to spread out kind of early just to reach the fringes because it takes them a long time to do these things anyway. 
And while we're at this, I'll go ahead and tell them to gather berries at these bushes too, because food becomes an issue rather quickly. At least in my experience so far, it's become kind of a desperate thing. The only problem is, is berries rot pretty fast, so you don't want to go picking them all right away. Just enough to get you going for a few days. And obviously we need stones too, so we will just basically be a gatherer right away of just about everything. So that's a lot of stones in the area. This is actually pretty good. So I'm just, you know, clicking and highlighting all the basic stuff in the area. I generally try to like to clean up the area nearby where I'm going to build the town anyway, or the village or whatever I'm going to have to do in 10 days. So all right, so we're clearing out a bunch of stones. So this need will disappear. This need will sort of disappear. And the beds thing, I'm just going to leave active for now. And we're just going to go ahead and get moving. Now what's going to happen is, is as you start doing your stuff, you will unlock technologies. Your colonists will have, you know, these ideas, thoughts, and whatnot. So like, for instance, hey, we should have a food stockpile. I'm like, hmm, that's a pretty good idea. All right, so we'll just set aside a little cube here for food. And then I believe I have a stockpile for materials, so what I'll go ahead and do is leave a little square for that too. So now I've got a place for materials and food. And then we'll send these guys all out on their way. So see, I've already started unlocking things. So branch pile. I want to build this, and we will put that maybe over here. That looks like a good spot. You want to start making these like stockpile things so it doesn't take up all your material space because you may end up with materials that you're not ready for yet. So I can build wattle walls, which is like a, a woven branch wall, essentially. I usually skip this. All right, so we've unlocked a work zone. So this will give us the ability to create things, basic tools and whatnot. And the hardest part is, is sort of arranging your free space. So at first, you're just going to kind of put it all out there. And in this case, <coughs> gravel floor, definitely something I'm going to need eventually. And I've got to set this up in such a way where I could build things and not have to worry about them setting things on fire. So fire is the quickest killer in this game so far. If you build a cooking fire or a smelting fire, it tosses embers, which is actually kind of a cool mechanic. And what I want to do is I usually try to build a 4x4 four four so I have room for the embers to fly, and I'll put like the fire in the middle here. So we'll go ahead and put that out there. And I can actually click this and set the priorities, but right now I've just kind of kept everything average and vanilla until the game gets desperate for, oh my god, you need this stuff right now. So the other thing is, is I've unlocked a flute for clan folk for activities to keep their morality high and a stone sickle, which is definitely something I'm going to need. So I'm going to go to the building group and what I can do is instead of just setting up the queue, I can build this where I can schedule how many active tools I need in existence the entire time. So if a tool breaks, this will automatically say, hey, well, you wanted four of these, so I went back and built you another one, which is great. So we're always gonna build like four of something, like stone sickles I'll build four. The flute, since it's a morale thing, I'm only gonna build two, and then we'll get that started. And then once they build the first set of tools, it'll obviously unlock something else. So now we've got our little stone slab here. Gravel, really. I wasn't sure how far I was going to do this or if I was going to take it too, but this game's actually quite fun in a, in a different style. So I've got a stone sickle, and now I've got the ability to clear grass, and that is the first thing you want to do. You want to clear all the reeds, all the grass, all the crap in your general area. Because you need space to grow and work and, you know. This all farms into things you're going to use anyway. Like straw, hay, reeds, things like that. So look at all this stone we've got to work with over here. 
eventually my guys will start gathering it because I'm going to need it. But for now, this is a pretty good, like, like you, you, I've got a pretty good little square around this lake. That's good enough for now. Still haven't built a bed yet because it's the middle of the day. But I'm probably not going to be able to build any uh, structures yet. So in the meantime, it's going to suck, but we're going to sleep out in the out in the cold basically for a day or two and I think what I'll do is I'll put this out here and it's not the best place but it's better than nothing okay so we've got stockpiles of food the quality will go down because it's exposed to the elements but there's really nothing I can do about that right now Also, short recap of the day, uh, we had a pretty good uh, week in review this week. I, For some reason, every time I get into those, I always think that it's going to be a, a horror show, and then it turns out being quite good, so. Uh, can I build a thresher? I don't, think I, I don't think I have that ability yet. Yeah. So I'm still building, I'm still making straw. It's fine. Like, all the instructions have already been done. Like, they're going to do all this eventually. And I can speed things along, too, because there's not a whole lot going on right now. So it's getting to the getting, evening-wise. You don't have to worry about wild animals attacking you or anything. At least in the demo, you don't. I suspect, as this game gets further fleshed out, though that may start to become quite an issue. Alright, so we have a new thing here. Overwork. I can get these guys to work past their sleep schedule, but that really kills morale. Um, the thing is, is if you're desperate to get something done, you're going to want to do it. But I don't, so whatever. Off we go. I'll just do like a middle speed right now, 4x. Just so I know I'm not outpacing myself. Which I don't think I am, so let's go full speed. Okay, so we have enough room for everyone to sleep. This is the sleep tutorial about how you can set them up for where they have to be in the dark or, you know, outdoors or whatever. You can read through that if you need it. But I've already done this three times, so we're good. Alright, so we're on day two already. And off they go do their tasks. Now, I can go and pick individual jobs for individual people right now. But right now, I just see... I sort of need everything generic. So I just kind of set them off to their tasks. They'll figure it out. They will do what they need to do for now. Actually, I'm going to slow it down for just a second. Because I think we're almost out of berries, so I'm gonna start looking for berry bushes in the vicinity again and get them to start picking certain berry bushes out here because food is gonna become an issue rather quickly. Oh no, they left one right there. That's good enough. There's a bunch down here, but I'm gonna save that for later. Okay, so we unlocked the ability to plant berry bushes. Now, so far, in my experience, you can plant the berry bushes. It will cost you the berries you harvest, which makes it hard to stay fed. And the bushes don't grow before the demo ends, so right now I really can't waste my resources. I need the food. And I still need to harvest the reeds and things, which I've got the job set out here. Let me try this. Since I have clear grass on everything, I can change the priority of the job. Maybe that'll help. Because I want the system wants me to do the straw. So we're gonna do that first. I set the priority to maximum. I want them to go after the reeds, but they keep clearing the clearing the the grass. <laughs> They'll get to it eventually though. And once they do, it'll unlock the thresher. 
which is a way to separate like grains from husks and stuff like that. So far, also that what I've noticed in the demo is the weather doesn't become a factor early on because they realize, hey, you've got to sort of start building stuff first. So they kind of they kind of make it really vanilla for you right away. But you better learn really quickly what your priorities are, otherwise you will get caught out in the rain. I ran this where I got up to day eight and I was still waterlogged because I didn't have anything with a roof and my colonists were quite unhappy. And one time I ran out of food. There we go. All right, so we want to build this thresher. It doesn't have to be in this stone here. So what I'll do is I'll just put it down here like so. And then I will put the build priority for this pretty high. So now that's done. And I have the ability to basically make, I can separate the materials into seeds and stems and whatnot. But I really need a straw right now. So I'm gonna supply, I need, let's say 200. Which sounds like a lot, but once you take all this grass, it's really not that bad. This is to allow me to plant more reeds but I don't have time for that. There. So, now we have hay roof, hay wall, hay doors. We got a cooking fire tutorial, breakdown tutorial. I don't need any of that. What I do need is to construct, I think. Maybe not. Just a second. Food. Okay. So I want to build a cooking fire. That's first and foremost. So that's now a thing. And I want to... Hmm. I don't have the ability to chop down trees yet. But I really need to start figuring out how to build a shelter. Well, let's just let it go a day and maybe I'll clear out enough stuff to work and unlock that. This is for corpses, which I did have a character die in an earlier playthrough, and that's going to become an issue, but for now, we're good. Unlock grass for planting, we're good. The terrain grows it faster than I can cut it down. Animal bed, this is the beginnings of handling your livestock, but don't have time for that right now. This is for, you can set up areas where things won't get put down so they don't get caught on fire. And now we have an eel trap, which is good because this is a food source. So I want to put that there, that there, and that there, and maybe one more here. And I want the priority for this to be maxed out because, like I said, food is always an issue in this game. Now I have the ability to make hose. <laughs> We'll just have a couple of hoes. Everybody needs a couple of hoes. And I still need an axe. Hopefully we'll get to that soon too. Very low food. Do I have the ability to set up cooking? Yes. So I want to have cooked eels all the time. These things will build and then they will automatically collect eels for you. And then you cook them, and then you eat them, and then your people are happy. So now this is going to nag at me that I eat raw eels. All in good time. We'll get there. Eventually we'll get there. The thing I'm waiting for right now... Oh, we got no food. Let me take a look around. I don't want my guys starving. Gather berries? There are no berries. Okay, so it was over here, I think. Yeah, we got a bunch of berry bushes here. There we go. So now that will become, hopefully, a priority. Make that super priority. So they won't starve to death. It takes a little while, but they will get there. Don't care about animal beds. I do want the roof. Don't care about this. Don't care about that, because I already set the job. Don't care about that either. 
and off they go. So hopefully they will focus on the important things, which is gathering food, which they are right now, good. And I need the ability to make stone axes. I already did the stone hoe thing, right? Yeah. Like, I set that up. Alright, so he's going to build those. Ah, there we go. Alright, so now I have stone axe ability. So I want four of these. Like, ASAP. Build me the axes. Matter of fact, uh, what was it, Tyler? Yeah. Okay, I need him to focus on crafting. Let's see, I'm going to make him focus on building because he's good at it. And crafting because he's good at it. So hopefully what he'll do is he'll change his, uh, he'll build these, but then he'll change his focus to making those stone axes. All right. Now I have the ability to clear bushes and build stone picks apparently too. That's good. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay. So these are all build cube. And let's see, twine, I always want, let's say, 30. So they'll be off doing that. I need to be able to harvest clay, so I'll just go ahead and pick this whole shoreline. Every time you do these new tasks, it unlocks things for you. So that'll go underway, this'll go underway. Uh, that still needs to be done. Oh, I need to make bathrooms. They call them poop holes. Whatever. <laughs> and just for cleanliness sake, we want that sort of out of the way. Right? Yeah, let's poop over by these trees here. And you got to have two of them. So there's one there, one there. Off they go. I'm going to slow things down just a hair. Because I need to add a job of clearing trees. So I want all these trees to disappear in the area. So I have room to, you know, grow. Because we're going to have to start thinking about building shelter. Alright, I think this is a good enough clearing for now. Off they go. Alright, charcoal kiln. Which, there? You just basically take wood and you turn it into charcoal. I need a butcher block, which I will build, let's see, R, yeah. So we'll put that here. I have the ability to mine gravel in mountains, which is something I do want to do. So I will mine the mountains to just basically level out, you know, an, a swath of, of rock. And that gives me the ability to have stone floors which is exactly what I'm going to want because we need shelter. That's going to become an issue. We're going to need charcoal. Now that the kiln is built, we can have charcoal and I can set up like a demand of, say, at least 10 all the time. So they're going to knock all this out here. I'm going to have to create a job to remove stumps also. So we will do that as well. And I'm trying desperately to get through this as quickly as possible because what I want to do is I want to at least get the start of a building done so you get an idea of what's going on. And I'll probably also need to clear bushes in my immediate vicinity here. So hopefully these guys will get all this sorted out. So what you're going to notice is, see these little embers here? They're going to start trying to catch things on fire. Like my charcoal right there, which is actually quite annoying. Let me see if I can set up a stockpile for... General? General stockpile. Okay, so I need this to be like, say, here. Uh, up here. That way they take the charcoal and get it away from the fire. 
because that becomes a quite that becomes quite an issue very quickly. And that's gonna burn. I'm gonna lose that charcoal. Pick it up, dude. Get it out of there. They're not gonna move it. It's just gonna burn. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be a little bit of a waste, but whatever. See, my last playthrough, they took the charcoal and put it up here. That's why I set it up like this, but I didn't do it right. And we're running low on food again. All right, so now I've got the ability for sleeping mats. These guys are going to start getting a little bit naggy about that. Uh, while I've got this open, let's go ahead and see if I can grab some more berries somewhere. Here? Yeah. some berries there. I think I've got the area tapped out. Okay. Oh look, there's a bush on fire. Great. That's fine. Whatever. It's gone. Problem solved. Gotta love when a problem solves itself, right? Get to work. So hopefully they will take the charcoal and put it over here this time instead of letting this ember off and burn it. Like, move this out of the way. And yeah, something's pooping everywhere already. But that's the thing. Uh, okay, let's try construction. I'm going to pause the game. And what I want to do is build stone floor. And I want this stone floor to be about that big. And then I will build a stone wall, if I have it here. Stone wall, rock wall. And we will make that, say, this big on the outer perimeter. And I'm going to leave a gap because I want a door. Did I build this already? No, I didn't. So, hopefully I'll get rid of that. <laughs> hmm. No, it's not stockpile. So like here. I can't do anything about the floor. Fine. Fine. See if I can just build past it. I can. Okay, good. And then I will build a door there. I need to get rid of these because I want the walls up ASAP. And then I want to build doors. Yeah. Doors. So straw doors it is. So I got floors, we got walls, we got doors. First thing I need to do is set the priority for this as high as possible, and this as high as possible, and then this as high as possible. And then once those things are done, I need a roof. And I'm gonna need a lot of stone to do this, but I think I should be able to pull it off because I'm telling him to mine mountains. Like I've got these jobs set up to mine the mountains. We're just gonna take the whole mountain down, screw it. I don't need any of this. And I also want to mine gravel. Uh, here. So all the outlying parts of this is gravel. So we're just going to tear the whole mountain down. And I need this to be done quickly because I'm getting rid of all their sleeping spaces. So what I'm hoping this does is it forces them to, you know, get to the getting, essentially. And that way, I could force them to build, let's see, their beds? Yeah. So I can have a sleeping mat and I'll just set up, you know, three, four, and then rotate these, and then five, six, seven. So I spaced it out. So they better build it, or they're not going to have a place to sleep, and then they'll have a real reason to be pissed off. And because I told them to build stone floors and walls, they have to chop down the trees and everything that's in their way. Which is kind of nice, because I don't have to micromanage it. So they're, yeah, they're getting to the getting. They're building these walls. There's the door. I forgot. Oh, there it is. Okay, let me go ahead and build a couple of straw windows, too. There. 
That should be nice and shiny. This is my butcher block. I still need to build this. Let me rotate it that way. And I have the ability to build bows. So I want to do that because I need hunters. Don't really care for the snare kit. I want to build the haystack somewhere, say here. Don't want to grow trees. Don't want to till soil. Standing torch would be nice. I'll build one of those here. And the wall torch can go here. And here. I don't need the barn door yet. And the kiln would be nice. But see, I'm getting to the point now where I'm going to start setting things on fire. So I can't really build this right away. But I need it to do clay and charcoal. Ha. What if I put this here? Let's try that. Alright, so we'll set them off on their tasks. Don't care about the gate. Clay bin would be nice because I'm getting ready to have to start harvesting that. Put that there. I think I have the ability to harvest clay, right? Yeah, right here. So, oh, there's already clay all over the place. Never mind. Okay, so now I have the ability to hunt animals. I already did this tutorial. So, let's hunt wild animals. Let's see if I can find any. Pause the game. Don't want to waste your time. We're ever so slightly into... Overtime! Obviously. Because it took a while to explain this. And we're only at day four. But, on the plus side, this is a very good start. So far the best one I've had. The thing is, though, is I don't see any wild animals. Can I? I can't hunt that. Those don't count as wild animals for whatever reason. These are my wildlife. Like, the ones I brought. Chickens and goats and whatnot. What I'm looking for right now is rabbit holes. Ah, here we go. So there's a couple of rabbits here. And I don't want to overhunt it. See, there's holes all over the place. But typically what I've discovered is if I overhunt it, the meat just goes bad. So I don't want to waste it. Don't care for snares. Uh... Hide rack would be nice. I'll put that down here. No. Let's put that over here. Because it'll make them clear the stump anyway. Gravel pile would be useful in a place where things don't catch fire. So there. Closed zone. Don't really need it right now. See, they're still desperate for beds. So let me set the priority for that really high, too. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Send them off on their tasks. These guys are tired of sleeping out in the dark and in the cold. They better get to the getting and start building this crap, because, you know, we've got materials all over the place. They can't say that there ain't any. I could set the priorities for gathering better. There we go. We've unlocked cooked meat, because I've killed animals. So, we will cook meat uh, to the tune of always having at least 20. But I'm going to have to come up with a food storage area that's indoors, which I don't have ready yet. Uh, zone. Food. Here. That'll be indoors. And then I'll get rid of this one eventually, too. Now... I need to find someone who's good at cooking that isn't a crafter. This guy is a crafter and a builder. And that's a baby. Roland is... Hmm. Oh, he's good at cooking. Okay, that's your max priority from this point forward. And see that? He's cooking. Very good. I need... Let's see, I've got animal hide. Where's that... Uh... Hmm. This, right here. Hide rack. I need this to be built as soon as possible. So that way this doesn't go to waste. See, and you notice just like RimWorld, if you zoom way in, it tells you the quantities. That's kind of cool. 
I mean, like, the guy who created this game obviously loved RimWorld. All right, so a hide shelf to store wet and dry hides. It needs to be kept in a safe place. I'm going to put that right there next to somebody's bed because I'm, you know, a jerk. We're still short on beds. They haven't made them yet. I made it max priority. Go figure. We're not low on food, though. That's great. I'm going to be soon, though. I mean, I'm not... I'm certain of it. Like, food's going to become an issue again very quickly. Matter of fact, I should probably stop right there. And let's see if I can find any more berry bushes to gather from before we all start. Okay, there's some. There's some. There's some. And that should hold us off. Then we'll go max speed. So in terms of, like, productivity, uh, we're four days in, and we've got a shelter in process. We have food in process. We have processing meat and hides and materials in process. So this is all good. What is he doing? Oh, he's tired. Well, maybe if you idiots actually built the beds like you were supposed to. I mean, I did set it to max... Oh, stone roof. Rock wall. There. Multi... There. Build all that first. That way you guys can sleep in comfort. You think they... You think that would be important to them, right? Like, hey, uh, I'm tired of sleeping outside taking ticks off my sack. <laughs> and now the rains come. Clearly... So now everything that's sitting outside is being waterlogged or ruined. The skin will be de de degraded. This rack thing is going to be degraded. So what I'll probably want to do just to get it, you know, from being totally ruined, is I could build a hay roof on the outside, like this, and build myself a little, like, perimeter, like so. Maybe all the way to here. They're not going to do it in time, but, you know, it's a thing. So I've got them off doing their tasks. I, I, I can never get on top of the eels. Like, I built, what, four or five of those things? They still can't get it right. I think he just fell asleep. Because, you know, beds are not an issue for these guys. Like, they can't be bothered. Even though I told him that I really want this done right now. Let me see if I can find someone else who can craft or build. Repair, gather, hunting, crafting. I need building. You suck at it. Okay. Give me another guy. How about Rosa? Can you build? You can build. Okay, well, get your ass up there and start building things. Oh, she's crapping. <laughs> She's pooping. And that guy just fell asleep in the poop. Gross. Alright, now it looks like they're kind of starting to do things. That guy looks like... I don't know what the hell is going on there. Can you build? Oh, you're, you're a cook. Never mind. I don't want to mess with you. Never mind. All the priorities are set. So, like, they should start doing this. Short on eels, as usual. I mean, unless you guys love hanging out in the rain. See, look, they're not happy. It's like, well, if you're not happy, get this shit done. Look, priority 10. Get it done. Like, see it through. If I zoom out far enough, you can see that they started building part of the roof. But they didn't build the beds. Morons. What are they doing? Build the shelter, you idiots. I'm gonna lose these hides too. I, I'm almost certain of it. There we go, the rain's over. Nobody's mining. Don't care about eels. We're running low on food again. Let's see if I can set them to task. Is there any more? Yeah, okay, we got berries out here. 
Go get berries there. Start building this out, man. They built the rack, but they didn't build the... Oh, maybe that's why they didn't do it. Here. <laughs> build the beds. Ooh, something's kind of nasty here. What is this? My berries, they're rotting. No! Ah, oh, what a waste. No wonder I'm low on food. Weak. Oh, that sucks. Man, I think I sort of made a mistake on the floor. I should probably build a stone floor on the doors, too. That'd be good, right? Whatever. The beds are being made, though. That's good. Why are you not building this wall? Ah. See? You just gotta start whining, and it'll eventually happen. And this sucks, though. See, I grabbed too many berries too soon, and now they're going bad. Floor mat, don't care. Very low food, don't care. More beds, kinda care? Kinda care. Man, they just, they really just don't want a roof, do they? Like, this part's roofed. See? If you zoom out far enough, you get to see it. Look at them, useless people. What are you so upset about? Your mood sucks, your work sucks, you're hungry, you're socially crap, you're not having any fun. Man. Cheer up, you little kids. Very low food. We're not starving yet, though. Look at all these berries they haven't picked up yet. I need to probably build a zone for garbage. Uh, let's see. Dumb. I, get, I thought I had one already. Uh, we'll just make the dump, like, over here. There, maybe somebody will move this crap out of here. Maybe. So they're washing up and drinking. Good. Hygiene's good. Some of the beds are covered. Some of the beds aren't covered. Some of the people will be unhappy. Most of them can all blame themselves for not getting off their ass and actually building the roof that I told them. And we're out of food because this is rotten here. Weak. They're very, very, very unhappy. Day seven. You have, you got berries out here you haven't even picked. You got berries that are out here just rotten. Because you guys are stupid. I don't care if you're starving. Look, the skin went bad. Man. They're just wasting materials, aren't they? Probably because I failed to set the, um, the priorities. Like, if I, if I did the priorities better, then it wouldn't be this terrible. Alright, so now you get to gather berries. Very good. Now, actually cook them and eat them and do things. Haul the skin off to the dump, because it's all rotten. Like, that stuff right there is rotten. Stone roof is... Yeah, it's got this maxed out. Why haven't you built it yet? What the hell's the matter with you? You got stone everywhere. I don't know what to make of it. Like, it's right there. Just build it. <laughs> build the roof. There, now they're building the roof. Look at that. Now they're finally building the roof. Okay. Someone had a medical emergency. Low health. Locked vent. Can be open or closed. Okay. Uh, let's build a vent. Uh, maybe there. Roman died of starvation. Well, okay. So, 
because of my poor management, uh, a man has died, and because my builders are too dumb to finish building their roof, uh, they're all kind of screwed, and Roland's over here sort of dead, and he stinks. But anyway, this was the first 30, and arguably the last 30, because this is just an introductory video of, sorry, <laughs> Clan Folk. If you'd like to get a copy of this for yourself, jump onto Steam. There's a link in the description below, and you too can download the demo. It is free, and you can try to survive more than 10 days without letting your Roland die, or your people not finish their roof. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. But if you're a regular here, welcome back. Either way, maybe check out my other playlists and see if my other interests may be of interest to you. I do have other things in the pipeline, including this old Gats and a couple of firearms reviews. However, I just haven't had a chance to do them yet, and Rosa just died of starvation. Anyway, if you are a regular to my channel, you know that tomorrow we'll be kicking it old school, so you can keep an eye out for that. It is a continuation of the current series I've been playing, um, but it is ready to go, so it will be out on time. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next one. Hopefully, without Colin is dying constantly. Later.